Hi guys, so today we are looking at how to set up the intonation correctly on a Strat or Fender style guitar. Um, this particular one is a US Strat. We have six individual saddles. Um, you know, as, as we covered in other videos, you can get tellies with, with three saddles, sure. you know, where the strings are in pairs. This particular one, six individual, is by far the most common for, for, for Fender Strat or telly or most other, most other models. So let's get, let's get straight in there and... Um, okay, well the first thing we have to do is get the open tuning as good as we can. Okay. okay. Now, ideally, this is done in the playing position. Okay? okay, perfect. On these types of guitars, it's not as important. Okay. okay. Um, why, <coughs> why would it need to be done in the playing position? Uh, just so there's no weight on that neck. I see. So Pushing the neck or, or sure. what have you. Right? And also, you're going to play it in the playing position. Absolutely. So that's where you want your intonation more, most accurate. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but for this purposes, we're just going to... Tune it on the bench, Perfect, okay, yeah. and, and, and try to intonate it on the bench. Okay. We have a clip-on tuner, which we're going to tune the open notes to, as well as the fretted. Perfect, I'll just get a quick And we're just going to tune that one. up to the centre each Perfect. note. And try to be as accurate as you can with this. It will only improve your overall intonation. Fantastic. The more accurate you are with the open. Also, try not let the other strings resonate while you're tuning the other string. Okay. Sure, okay, so sort of a bit of, bit of right hand kind of muting so there. So, with your open E string, we'll mm -hmm. start with the bass E. Okay. okay. We've got a good open E. Okay, yep, brilliant. With so the same level of attack, and I'm going to use my thumb in this case, because yep. it's just a little bit easier. In the playing position, you would certainly use your fretting finger, your index finger, yep. or your second finger, okay. But I'll try to be as careful as I can. Centre of the frets. Yeah. Not too much weight behind mm -hmm. the fret, so you don't sharpen the note. Yeah. As well as a similar level of attack, sure. okay? And that's ever so slightly sharp. So it's very slightly sharp. If I'll grab the old uh, camera and we'll just have a look at that. Can you see it's just slightly over the E, okay? Okay, so it's... But so only by a cent or two, okay? Sure. Yeah, we've got a little bit of sharp sharpness going on. So what we need to do there, it's slightly sharp, okay? So we need to lengthen the scale. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna pull back on this saddle just a little bit, okay? Sure. So that might that might possibly seem counterintuitive, but basically the thinking behind it, I guess, is when you're fretting the 12th fret, you're essentially making the string this long. Absolutely. If and that is too sharp, you then, need then to it needs make to be it longer. slightly longer. Like, as, if, as if you're almost going down a fret. So yeah. relative to the string, you're effectively moving, the, moving where the fret is, I guess. Yeah. So I'm just going to... I've got the extension on the screwdriver there so I can be over the body. Okay. And I'm just gonna tighten that screw so it pulls it back a little bit. Did you see that? Perfect, yeah, we can see that moving. That's okay. great. Now we need to retune that open note because it would have gone sharp. Okay. That's another way of you knowing which way, when you've gone the right way. Sure. Okay, if it's sharp at the 12th fret and you need to lengthen that scale, yeah. the note will go sharp. I see. And then you flatten it down. I see. Bring it back to pitch. Yep. And then check it again. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, you can hear that's. Yes. Sharp. Now that was. That was more not much of a turn, and it's and it's gone sharp quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. That was halfway towards. And an then half, carefully. And there we have that E, a lot sure. closer to to tune. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of. Over and under, perfect. Okay. Yeah, looks absolutely perfect to me. In the playing position, it is actually slightly easier. Okay, so sure. sit on a stool, sit on your playing stool, whatever, sure. and leave it on your lap, on, on your leg, and, yeah. and tune it like that, okay? okay? But for, to be able to visually see it, this is a lot clearer to Sure, okay? absolutely. So we move on to VA, which you can more or less hear by, by ear mm. that that's good. Yeah, it the, sounds the, very, very good. The simple. low A, the open string, sounds very accurate sure. at the 12th fret. So yep. that one's good. Perfect. On to the next. So we're in tune, open D. Sounds very really good to me. And again, audibly, you could hear that. Yep. What I tend to do in the workshop is, is play the guitar through, do the intonation through the amp. Okay, I yeah. quite like to hear it. Okay, so okay. Just, sort of just sort of in the background so you can hear it. Because sometimes with certain tuners, you know, it, it, it can be waving around a little yeah, bit. Yeah. If you audibly hear it and you go, 
that sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Then you know you're really, really very close. And it could just be that the tuner is just finding it difficult to get the frequency. So Absolutely. sometimes, you know, to hear it too is not a bad idea. Absolutely. Right? I mean, I guess the guys at home, whether you've got a an iPhone, Android tuner, or a click-on sure. tuner, or a pedal tuner, or a, a, stro- a very expensive strobe tuner like we've got here, then, you know, whatever whatever works. I mean, obviously, yeah. the more accurate, the better, I guess. Yeah, and also I'd say in, in that case, a little bit more of taking the average of the note rather than just the first note you play mm-hmm. is exactly G, okay? okay? Or if it was exactly G sharp, don't take it, but it's G sharp. Try right. it again a couple of times to make sure you didn't hit it too hard. Sure. Or fret it too hard or even bend it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. There's sort of no cheating intonation. It's okay. best to be as accurate okay. as you can. Your overall tuning across the guitar will just be improved because of it. Okay. okay. So the more accurate and definite you can be, the better okay. for your playing. So the G is in tune in the open. Tune. Yep, lovely. And then we're going to just try the... Okay, so it looks slightly sharp It's there. slightly sharp, yeah. Um, again, audibly, I couldn't really hear that as no, much. No, there's not as, a great but difference. But the tuner is definitely just mm-hmm. slightly over yeah. G, yeah. and it's holding it there, okay? Sure. Um, when it's falling, when the note is decaying, the, f- the note will f- slowly fall. Okay? okay. So when you see that it's not falling on its decay, you know it's definitely sharp. Right, okay, that's interesting. Okay. That's interesting. So a note, even when it, the initial pick attack is bang in tune, will actually decay and go flat. Yes. So I guess you... Well, but slowly. Very okay. slowly. And okay. very much dependent on your accuracy if you tune it too. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So I guess. But, but even with this, with a yeah. good clip-on tuner, yeah. uh, you can see that uh, it was holding sure. G sharp a little bit, G plus a few cents. So we're going to send this saddle back. Yep. We're lengthening the scale slightly. Yep. The note will go slightly sharp. So we will retune. Let's have a look. So that's moving actually a fair old way. Yeah, I've done, you know, maybe, you know, two half turns on there. Sure. Okay. And you'll hear it's gone really yeah, sharp. Yeah, that's that's okay. very sharp, isn't it? So we're even above a G. So now sharp. we're just gonna send it below G and bring it up to G. So that was over a semitone up that we went there. Okay. Perfect. Now audibly I could hear that that was right. Sure. Whereas yeah. before just by ear, it, yeah. was, it was difficult to ascertain exactly how many cents it sounded sharp. Okay? Sure, absolutely. And our, our ears do have a tendency to, you know, to sharpen or flatten some notes. So where that might have been just slightly sharp, as we saw in the tuna, our mm-hmm. ears just slightly flattening it so we don't hear it quite so right, obviously. Okay. And everyone's ears are slightly different. So again, going back to that point of just trying to be as mindful of what you're doing and mm-hmm. how you're intonating and tuning the guitar, and in, in a good position yeah. uh, will help okay. the overall intonation, okay? So we just move on to the B. I guess with a, um, with a strat such as this, with a, with a floating tremolo, you, you've got to be careful, because we have changed the tuning of, of the other strings, in theory we should be back to where we were, because I guess the yes, overall tension is going to be about the, is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, and it wouldn't necessarily affect the individual intonation, but sure. the overall tuning might move a little bit. Absolutely, so always a good idea to sort of check on each string again beforehand if you have made any adjustments. Yeah, and I would suggest maybe after finishing your intonation, just do the open tuning yeah. and let it rest. So we'll just Perfect. do the last one, fret it at the 12th. Sounds very... Sounds fine. It looks like it's falling flat a little bit. Yeah, quick. absolutely. So we'll just see if we can. So it's falling flat. So we're just going to shorten the shorten scale, the string, but yeah. only by slight. I mean, it, it, yeah, that was, was the difference where the string was falling flat just a bit too quick. It yeah, should absolutely. hold tune and slowly fall flat. Okay. I put my neck on the block saying it was fine, and turned out it wasn't. So uh, I didn't really hear it. I'm glad to hear that you said it was only slightly. <laughs> we we tend to not hear much below three cents of a note. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, there's a hundred cents of a note in a tone. Okay. Sure. So of course. It's, it's very small. We're back to, we're back to logical metric, uh, metric sense. <laughs> yeah. And in overall intonation and scale length terms, mm-hmm. one cent of a note is 10 thousandths of an inch. Okay. Okay. So the thickness of this, so that, that high E string was out by about a, f- a cent of a note. Interesting. Okay, so just you can be, so you can be quite. So we've moved it by about the thickness of that string. We wow. just made, moved really it forward 
Now it's intonated. Really, really small. Okay, so I think that's us on uh, intonation on a Fender style guitar. So um, we'll look at Gibson's next time. We'll see you then. 